Welcome back to Academy. So if you've been following the content on my channel, on the news, or just in the daily world around you, you probably know that the field of artificial intelligence is gaining exponential prominence in society. The beauty of AI is that it is not just a field that stands on its own, or only being associated with the technological field. AI has its applications across hundreds of varying fields, a few of which we've explored in this channel, such as biotechnology and marketing. In today's video, we will be learning about how AI is applied to a specific field of the business world that plays a vital role in society, venture capital. Now, before we jump in, some of you might be wondering what exactly venture capital is. Let's say Joe here is an entrepreneur and has created a new software that he is selling in a startup company. He has already sold his software to local companies and is getting a lot of traction, and he wants to take his company to the next level, offering more types of products, better advertising, and a better location for his company. To do all of this and more, Joe needs more money, but he doesn't own the $500,000 that he needs to make more magic happen. This is where venture capitalists come in. A VC or a venture capitalist can look at Joe's company and decide whether it is worth it to invest 500k in the company based on a variety of metrics. They might see that Joe's company is already getting a lot of buzz, that he has been a successful entrepreneur in the past, and that his software fills a current hole in the market, all of which went indicate to a VC that his company is likely to succeed and have long-term growth potential. Thus, they might choose to invest 500k in Joe and get a portion of his company so that when his company grows to become a multi-million dollar venture, the investors will get a large return of investment, giving them a large profit, exactly what they had hoped would happen when they took a risk with Joe in the beginning. So long story short, VC is the financing that investors provide startup companies that they believe might do very well in the future. Now, historically, gut instinct has played a very prominent role in VC investments. VCs have some key factors that they look at to decide whether a company might succeed, but ultimately, they are taking quite a bit of a gamble when investing in large, investing large amounts of money in a company that they don't confidently know the future of. In essence, most of what VCs do involves risk-taking. There are times when this works and investors do see a satisfactory return on investment. But many times this has been um, a manual process with human error in prediction and incomplete cross-referenced information that VCs rely on to make decisions. It is known that investors typically spend about 120 hours on going through the motions of screening and due diligence per startup. Moreover, a study discovered that out of the 100 million startups launching every year, about 7 in 10 fail. So clearly, a lot could go wrong in the VC investing world. However, the exponential increase in the number of investments and the total value of VC funds over time, from $3.5 billion in 2009 to $14.8 billion in 2019, to over $150 billion in 2021, requires VCs to not only act quickly and reduce the time needed to secure a deal to seize fruitful opportunities, but also necessitates wise investments that are most likely to succeed. Goals like these are getting harder when VC investments stay a laborious, time-consuming, and manual process. Enter Artificial Intelligence with the plethora of big data that's available in society, VC firms can combine information about companies with market research and several other data points to get a better overview of newly founded companies. These large databases can be used by AI and machine learning models to predict which startups are most likely to succeed, providing VCs with a much faster, more efficient, and more accurate way of funneling down startups and picking a few to invest in that might return big money. Venture capitalists who have so long been funding AI companies are now beginning to leverage AI technology and data-driven algorithms to give them a competitive edge in their investment choices. For example, an AI company called PeachScore utilizes metrics such as social media presence, data points from app stores and websites, product reviews, and 238 other evaluation factors to generate a risk rating and personalized intelligence report for each startup company. This conclusive information can help VCs discover likely unprofitable startups that might not be worth investing in. As another example, Veronica Wu, founding partner of Hone Capital, the U.S. segment of one of the largest VC firms in China, developed a machine learning model to assist with her investment choices. Her machine learning model leverages a database filled with over 30,000 deals from the past 10 years. Her model utilizes 20 different factors that were identified as the most significant for determining investment success, such as founding team's background, 
investors' prior rates of conversion, total money raised, etc. Through her model and the various factors it analyzes, she also discovered insights, such as the fact that a deal with two founders from different universities are more likely to launch a startup that succeeds than two founders from the same university. Diversity of perspectives plays a role in success. To test the success of her algorithm in comparison to the manual process, she found that 40% of the companies recommended by her model raised another round of funding afterwards, indicating that their success, indicating their success and promise, which was 2.5 times the historical amount for a VC. Another company that has created AI tools for VCs is VenturePool. VenturePool utilizes a machine learning model leveraging 6 million data points from 700,000 companies, applying techniques such as principal component analysis and unsupervised learning to predict and visually graph the level of investment risk per company as compared to the other companies in the database. So if AI models do such an efficient job choosing which companies are worth investing in, does this mean research associates in VC firms will soon be out of job? Mm, not quite. You see, akin to most AI developments, the AI technology is there to augment the manual process and work alongside humans, as nothing can replace human emotion, cognition, and creativity. And human intervention is especially necessary when AI algorithms start to inculcate unwanted biases in their decision making, as one algorithm built by Harvard Business Review did recently. HBR created an investment algorithm and compared it to the performance of about 250 other investors. And they found that the model performed better than beginner investors, but did not perform as well as their experienced counterparts. The main reason for this discrepancy was that the model demonstrated biases that experienced investors did not, such as leaning towards white male entrepreneurs over people of color and women, due to the fact that historically, women and minority founders have received less capital, so the data that the algorithm relies on is skewed towards men. This is why it's crucial to combine the experience and knowledge of humans with the computational power of algorithms to arrive at conclusions. Human decision-making will never be replaced, only augmented and strengthened by the hybrid power of artificial intelligence and individual thinking. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about the applications of AI in venture capital. And if so, please give it a like and comment down below another field you'd like to know how AI is applied in. And if you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any videos that'll help you out on your journey towards mastering artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.